Hello everybody, how is it going? So I will give you a quick tour on how the dashboard works and how you can actually make them buttons. Choose the Discord server where you want to make them buttons. Probably you can see this tutorial URL right here, but right now it doesn't exist. First of all, we have config. This is pretty much to choose where you want to send the message. Now, firstly, we can choose a message URL. But why will you want to choose a message URL? That is for editing messages. I can right click, I can copy the message link and paste it and then we have load and we have edit if i click on load it will get the message right there and then we can edit the message but before editing let's actually change something right so we will know this is actually working we go to the body and let me just increase the size of the body now i will remove these stars and then let's see what happens click on edit and any moment this thing let's go it is no longer bold so this is how the message part works now similar to messages, we also have webhooks. So let me just get you a webhook URL. And if you guys don't know what webhook is, pretty much go to your channel integration and you can create a webhook. This is like a different way to send messages. And then I can click on send and it will actually send a message using this webhook called Captain Oak. If you want to change the username, you can obviously do that. Even if you want to update the avatar, just get an avatar URL. Let me just get a good one and then click on send. Probably get it and there we go. We have it. Haha vid and we have this weird thing. We can actually edit webhook messages. But how will that work? Just right click, copy the message URL, put it in the message bar. And don't use this edit because bot cannot edit the message but the webhook can. Let me change the message and click on edit. And any moment you will see that this message is edited. So that's how the editing works in the webhook. And after the webhooks, we have the channel. This thing is pretty straightforward. Just choose the channel where you want to send the notification. Click send. And any moment, we have the message in the selected channel. So after this, this is pretty much it for the config. Then we have the builder. That is something big. So I will start with the template. You just type a template ID and you can hit save. And this current information will be saved, but I'm on free tier. God damn it. So I cannot save it, but no problem. We can actually load templates. So I have one template called one and I can click on load. And then this is Shisama's template and we have all the information there. So builder is actually the thing where you will provide all of the information about the messes. Content is pretty much the normal text, which we have in the messes. You can type everything here and you can increase the size of this window if you need to. And after this, we have embeds. So just click on add embed and you can add a lot of embeds here, by the way. Obviously, there are some limits, no comments on that. Click on this embed button and then it shows all of the information. So right now we have a thing called author. So I can just type a name here for icon. I will get that beautiful icon URL Put the icon URL and you can see it is right there. We can also put a URL, then our text will become a URL if you want to. And then we have the body. So in body, we have a title and then we have a description as well. And obviously you can use markdown in this thing if you want to. URL is pretty much your title becomes a URL. And then color is the side line on your embed. You can choose all sorts of colors here. After this comes the footer. I'm skipping the image because that thing is even better. So footer is pretty much um, a relatively smaller text on the very bottom. Icon is exactly similar to how avatar works. We have a beautiful circular image on the left of our text. Now timestamp is some interesting business. Let me show it to you. So I can say something like 12 Jan 2024. And now the timestamp is according to that. So pretty much anything that JavaScript understands will work. So after the timestamp, we have images. So as you can see, thumbnail is on the right side and the image is actually on the bottom side. So that's how that works. Now you can add more embeds, but we will move on to the components. By the way, you can obviously remove all of it if you want to. Then in the components, you can click on add row and then it will create a row for you. Click a button and then you have a button right there. The label is pretty much the text which shows up here. So I can say something like hi YT. Then emoji, if you want to add an emoji, you can add an emoji here. After this primary, secondary, success, danger and link. These are the styles of the button or you can say the colors and then in the response as you can see we have a lot of information here a bit of pain. So I will go through response at the end. These are pretty much looks you can choose what the button says and emoji how does it look and then comes the actual functionality of the button. 
So I can click on add action and I can choose what this button will do. Will it give a role? Will it respond in a way? And I can choose a response. Choose response one. And if you want to have multiple responses. So the cool thing about is if you have multiple replies, the bot will randomly pick one of them. And then that will be displayed to the user. And we have the role type. In it, you can choose what role should the user get on by clicking this button. We have few more action types like the ticket. So if somebody will click on this button, it will actually create a ticket. We can choose a name format. If you hover over these things, it will show all of this information, right? And then we have category where you want to create the ticket channels in. Admin roles, pretty much who are the admins for this ticket. And maximum tickets, how many tickets a user can make at once. Alert type. If I go on action, you will see that we have user replies here, we have target replies and we have targets. So pretty much target replies goes to these channels, user replies are displayed to the user. And obviously there are some things here like at the red user, user, channel, guild. You can use them like for example if I do hi at the red user and if I click on this button it will be replaced to hi at the red Dishri san. That's how this thing works. Pretty simple right? Now actually look into response thing. So for example, if you have a ticket, the bot will respond back and say like, we created a ticket. And if you have two actions, let's say a ticket and an alert, the bot will first of all say, we have created a ticket successfully. And secondly, the bot will say whatever is the user reply. But if you want to merge all of these, like if you want to have your own custom reply for all of these actions at once, you can do that. And let me show it to you. So I can go on this response body and I can say something like, hey, you just got, and I can do these brackets rules. So as you can see, this will be replaced by whatever roles the user earned by clicking this button. And then I can say a few more things like we created a support ticket and then I can type ticket channel and this will be replaced to whatever the channel is. And by that I mean hashtag this, this will be replaced to the channel, right? And similar to that, we have a few more things like for example, reply, like let's say you are randomly creating a reply. And then we can say something like you draw and then I can say and reply. We can also do the same for alert reply. You can have multiple functionalities and everything can work at once together. And after this, simply go above and click on send and whoops, we have an error. So that's the beauty. If you have an issue, the bot will let you know. Sometimes there are a few things which are hidden. If that doesn't work, bot will let you know as well that the message failed. Now the message was sent. And as you can see, if I click on rule, it I should get some rule. And if I click on reply, it should reply me with something. So that's how this thing pretty much works. And I can click on ticket and then it creates a ticket. I can delete the ticket, obviously. That's how the bot is working right now. Mainly, we want to add more type of actions and add more settings in the current ones. And if you guys have any suggestions, any problems, just let us know and we will love to help you out.